we're off traveling this week, so we wanted to show you an easy dish to whip up and take with you on a trip, tea eggs. These eggs are simmered in a mix of tea, soy sauce, and spices, and just a great snack to have around. So, to get started with tea eggs, you'll need eggs. These are 8 medium quantity, really depending on how many you can fit into your pot. We'll also be simmering this with dogan or dry tofu. For the unaware, this sort of tofu has been pressed, baked or fried, and removed basically all moisture. Toss those in a pot with cool water, bring to a boil, and cook for 10 minutes. The egg should be hard boiled at this point, so toss those in a bowl and rinse underwater till completely cool. Now take your eggs and gently smack them with the wide end of a chopstick to crack that shell. This cracking gives the tea eggs their characteristic webbed pattern. Once you're done with that, you're ready to toss them in with some spiced water, so let's take a step back and show you the classic mix. This dish is the five spice flavor profile. So we'll be cooking this with a heaping tablespoon of whole cloves, five star anise, two cinnamon sticks, and two tablespoons fennel seed. Astute observers might notice that that's four spices. We're not actually including the fifth spice here, Sichuan peppercorn, because it can sort of overpower that pretty delicate flavor we got going on here. Some people include it though, totally up to you. Besides that, a few optional but heavily recommended spices are two dried bay leaves, 10 grams dried and aged tangerine peel, one nutmeg, and six slices of licorice root. Now put all those in a strainer and toss in a pot with a liter and a half of cool water. Nestle in your cracked eggs and carefully place the tofu on top so it doesn't stick to the bottom here. Bring that to a boil, then go in with some tea leaves. This is 10 grams loose leaf black tea, but basically anything you got around's fine, even some bag Lipton would do the trick. Puar, oolong, whatever. Toss that in together with 50 grams rock sugar and some soy sauce. This was two tablespoons light and two tablespoons dark. In China, at convenience stores and the like, they'll generally go much heavier on the soy sauce. Just double it if you want it saltier. Cover and simmer on the lowest heat your stove will go for 90 minutes. 90 minutes later, shut off the heat. Now we gotta let this sit and soak until completely cooled, about three hours minimum or in an ideal world overnight. Once cooled, give them a peel, and this is what we're looking at. The egg's got this nice mild fragrance to it, and of course that signature tea egg pattern. The tofu meanwhile's soft, chewy, and super flavorful. And for both these, the longer they soak, the tastier they'll get. So after you finish cooking it, you can let it soak for three hours and up to actually about like two days. After that limit, you do want to take it out and maybe store it in the fridge separately. So check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.